The art of paddling a canoe or kayak is called a skill. The art of teaching or coaching is also a skill. This video is about the basic methods and techniques which make up good coaching. We will look at three aspects. Planning the session, the coach's approach and coaching methods. Let's see if we can get your names again. Christine, Claire, Darren, Heidi, Mike. Go on, tell me. Andy, Mike and Wally. Great name, Wally. Sam hasn't met this group before, and so, although he has a rough idea about what he might do in this session, he decides to find out more about them before putting the final plan together. He has about two hours to run the session. A mixture of uh, experience at the moment. Some of you in a bigger canoe, yeah. four-man open canoe. Anybody been in these sort of before? No. Just scouts. OK. Doesn't make any difference because we're going to do some basic canoeing. We're going to just teach you some skills that uh, will start you off in the sport. So we need to get the canoes off the trailer. The plan should contain an aim, an element of coaching involving learning or improving skills, and some uninterrupted activity. We're going to do some things now that will help you because what's the biggest problem you have at the moment? Steering. Yeah. Steering. That's right. The boat won't go where you want it to go. So we're going to learn a stroke now. That might actually this is Sam's out. plan. Before we do that, the aim is to improve the basic boat control of the students by coaching the sweep stroke and linking it to forward paddling. He will finish up with a short journey on the lake. When Sam comes to teach the sweep stroke, he uses a basic teaching framework. This is made up of an introduction, a demonstration, an explanation, activity, and a summary. This stroke is called a sweep stroke. I'm going to show it to you. In the introduction, he names the stroke and briefly describes what it does. Then he gives a demonstration. This shows the stroke at slightly slower than real speed. It's done carefully so that the groups see a really correct sweep. And as you do it, the explanation stresses the key points for the group to remember, and then they set off on a practice activity. We'll come back to it in a minute and I'll explain it in more detail. What I want you to do is to go away, find yourself a bit of space in the lake, yeah? Okay. Go on. When you get around the other side of the little bit of island, just wait and crack the group together again. And I'll come around the back in case anybody else wants. OK, off we go. Sam watches carefully and stops the whole group when he wants to make major corrections. OK, back across to the bank and we'll see if we can improve it a little bit. Let's see if we can improve on that stroke a little bit. So I'll just throw in one or two points that might actually help you. Hold the paddle firmly. One or two of you have got it like that, just in the sort of finger and thumb. So when you get to that position, you're not gripping the paddle tight. Not tight, but firm. So get your fingers around it, like this. When you do the stroke, stretch forward with your arm, keep it straight, put it in the, in the water close to the front of the boat, sweep it round, and as you do that... The important key parts of a stroke are called the coaching points. Sam goes over these again in the summary. And then turn your body as you do the stroke. So look at the position I'm in now. Both arms on one side. The trunk has actually turned. This is the trunk here, a waist. Right, the shoulders are now facing towards the side of the boat. So I think you'll help yourselves a little bit if you just do that, turn it round. So the blade more or less stays still in the water and the boat does the turning, like that. 
Another point is the position that you have the whole paddle. Right, it can be up there or it can be right down low. So it wants to be in about a midpoint. Don't have this blade too high up in the air. I think Claire in particular, your, your top arm is going right up in the air up there. So try and keep that down a bit. Comfortable position in front of your shoulders. It's your shoulders, that's the line that top arm wants to be in. Not too low, right, so it's a bit heavy. Get it about there, twist it round, and make a really good sweep of it. Okay. I'm actually doing something with my legs as well. I'm gripping the boat. So my knees are pushed up, my feet are pushing against the foot plate, and as I do that, I'm actually forcing the legs and making the boat turn. Okay, let's have another go. Give yourself some space. Think on the points. Arms straight. Twist the body as you go around the stroke. Once they've been set off again, he watches and corrects individuals. here really well then almost no problems at all most of you so let's just summarize it what are we trying to do with the sweep stroke turn the boat steer yeah it. steer it steer the boat when you're paddling forwards and what about the blade where should that be in the water in the water underneath the surface here no. whereabouts out there. out there so you're trying to get it out away from the side of the boat that gives you the turning moment isn't it what about your legs Oh, yeah. Firmly up against the boat. Feet on the foot plate, knees spread apart up against the deck. No problem. Okay. Down here, we'll see if you can paddle sideways between these two white markers. So John, you're in the right place. Off you go. See if you can get sideways to the side. <laughs> Now let's concentrate on the way the coach works. What is it about the way Liz behaves, the way she communicates, that makes her effective in coaching? Sideways. At the, at the moment, the wind's doing it pretty effectively for me. The way you do it, you can just practice there with your arms, is you take your left hand and wipe your brow so you're really hot. That's the position for your left hand. And your right hand's out there. So you're holding your paddles like that. Okay? Paddle vertical and you're looking underneath your arm like that. And then you just pull the boat towards the paddle, like that. Okay? See? Lift the paddle up. Have a go and then come back and I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Just like I did, just spoon the water 
Ja, 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 She speaks clearly, makes sure the whole group can hear, gives lots of praise and encouragement, corrects errors by using positive comments. She knows the students' names and recognises them as individuals. She uses non-technical language and she is always aware of safety. To the boy, do your forward sweep. Then I want you to do a reverse sweep. Here the are some side. tried and tested coaching and principles. So it goes like this. Forward paddling, come close to the boy. Forward sweep, one, two, three. Into a reverse sweep, where you go one, two, three again, and then back to forward paddling. Have you got that? Now just think through that now. Break complex skills down into simpler parts, which people can learn, and then string them together. This is called the part hole method. One, two, three on your left, reverse sweep. Forward paddling back to here. I want you to go flat out towards the boy, take your time around the turn, and flat out back to here. Clear? Yep. Okay, you ready? <laughs> go! The fact is now that we can introduce to try and improve your paddling. I'll just throw one or two in at the moment. When you thrust forward with the arm, the upper arm, keep it at shoulder height. And Pete, yours is going a little bit high. Now if it goes up there, you're actually losing energy with it. A few skills do not lend themselves to the part hole method. Forward paddling, for example, is best coached as a hole because it's a cycle with no clear beginning or end. Teaching a skill as a whole is called the whole method. From the trunk. From the trunk. Okay, what do we mean by the trunk? Upper half the body. The upper half, so above the hips, from the waist. Okay, so there's a rotation in the stroke. So you're pushing forwards and pulling back with this one. The arms are relatively straight, and this one isn't going up in the air. Right, it's losing energy. Keep it down a little bit, not too much. Don't lower it below the, the shoulder height. Okay, off you go. A bit more speed. Concentrate on thrusting the arms forward and just getting a little bit of twist in the waist. Give me a bit of space, Tony. Better. Keeping that arm down a bit now. There are two important tips to remember when teaching new skills. Learning is easy when it's fun. And relate new movements to actions or images which learners already know. Turn right round twice and face me again. Ready? Go. Now a few points about practice. One of your jobs in coaching is to organise practice. A good coach has lots of ideas for practice exercises. These should be challenging and varied. Try out new games and exercises. Experiment and copy other people's ideas. But always choose activities appropriate to the group.
So, to summarise, your lesson plan should consider whom you are going to teach, and after looking at the location, what you are going to teach, and finally, how you are going to teach it. Use the simple ideas framework to introduce and coach new skills. Use short lists of coaching points to help paddlers to recall correct movements. When teaching new skills, relate movements to actions which are already familiar to the paddlers. Break skills down into parts, unless keeping them as a whole is more appropriate. Keep your coaching talk to a minimum and devise lots of different and challenging exercises for practice. Speak clearly. Make sure the whole group can hear. See the group as individuals. Give lots of encouragement and praise. And be aware of safety. Finally, let your students share your enthusiasm for the sport.